Expand the following logarithm completely. The natural logarithm of x plus 3 quantitative to the, to the 5 divided by the square root of x minus 1 times cosine squared x. So let's begin by writing this function out and prepping it. We have ln of, there's parentheses here, and we'll work our way through. x plus 3 raised to the fifth power divided by x minus 1 to the 1 half power, getting rid of those radicals, and this is the cosine of x, quantity squared. So there's my first bit of prep work right here, trying to get rid of the radicals and trying to get rid of some of these abuses of notation. Notice that we still have denominators, so let me rewrite this as a product instead of a quotient. So this will become ln of x plus 3 quantity to the 5 times x minus 1 to the quantity negative 1 half. And then rather than have this as cosine of x to the minus 2, remember that the reciprocal of cosine is secant. So I could just write this as secant of x quantity squared. Sometimes it takes more than one round of prep work. That's fine. Prep it for as long as you can. As much as you can simplify, as many radicals, powers, and trig that you can simplify, the better. Now that I've got this expressed as a logarithm of a product of powers, I can use my rules of logarithms. Notice that this is three multiplications. So my first rule of logarithm says that the logarithm of a product is the sum of the logarithms. So I can write this as ln of x plus 3 quantity to the fifth plus the natural logarithm of x minus 1 to the minus 1 half plus the natural logarithm of the secant of x quantity squared. Now that it's written like this, notice that each one of these terms has a power. So my third rule of logarithm says powers can be yanked out. I can have the first expression can be written as 5 times ln of x plus 3 by pulling the 5 out. On the second expression, if we pull that minus 1 half out, this is minus 1 half, the natural logarithm of x minus 1. And on the third expression, the 2. So 2 times the natural logarithm of the secant of x. And so this expression right here is a is expanded using our first two rules of logarithms. It's sometimes tempting when you see the natural logarithm product like this to distribute that ln and write this as 5 times ln of x plus ln of 3. Be ye not so foolish, this is a no-no. That is a definite sin of trigonometry, or sorry, a sin of logarithms. This never, ever, 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 ever works. So let's get screwed of that. We'll pretend that no one ever saw that. And so this right here is about the best we can do. This is a fully expanded logarithm.